Hey, welcome back all to the Master Octa course. Uh, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for continuing watching this video. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over groups in Octa. So uh, I won't PowerPoint you to death. I'm just going to go through this PowerPoint deck and then we're going to go ahead and start working in Octa. So first we need to define what groups are. So uh, groups simplify the process of assigning permissions and roles, ensuring that users with similar access needs are managed together. So uh, some of the usage of groups, right? So one thing you want to do with groups is you can assign applications to multiple users at once, apply security policies to a subset of users, and then you also can organize users based on department roles um, and other logical grouping. So, you know, what this is essentially saying is some of the benefits of groups, right? So uh, simplify administration is one of the things, uh, reasons why you want to go with groups. If you're assigning a role to an individual versus assigning it to a group, you may want to go ahead and assign it to a group because then you can now, um, it's much easier to remove people from that group versus having to now go into each individual and assign them a role and then remove them, you know, for administration purposes. Uh, also, the uses of groups enhance security, and then it also improves the ability to scale within your environment. So let's think about some of the group source types. So you have the native Okta groups, which we're going to go through today. Um, then you also have Active Directory. These are groups that uh, it's going to pull from your AD system. Then you have LDAP groups. Uh, you can use Okta LDAP agent to import groups from LDAP compliant Windows and Unix servers. And then you also have application groups. So here's our agenda for today. We're going to create a, a group. We're going to assign a user to a group, and then we're going to assign a role to a group as well. Okay, so let's go ahead with uh, creating our group, right? So let's come down here in your Okta profile. You're going to come to groups, and then in groups, you're going to hit over here. You have all, and then you have rules. We're not going to go into rules today, but we're just going to click on add group. And then here, what we're going to do is we're going to do something like marketing team and click save and then if that's not enough we could create another group and we can call this help desk team and then we're gonna click save see the marketing showed up it's gonna take a little while help desk for it to show up let's refresh and let's see if we get that showing up all right good so right here it gives us it lets us know how many people do we have in here how many applications do we have so right here we have zero individuals in this help desk team so I'm going to come over here to the help desk team. And if we go about our agenda, we have to assign a user to a group. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click assign and I'm able to assign a user. So I'm going to click on user course training and I'm also going to use click on this test Octa user. And what I'll do is I'll click done. Now we have two users in this group. So now if I were to come back to my groups, I can see that we have two people in this uh, group. Now, let's say we want to assign a role because that is the next thing on our agenda, right? So what we can do is we can go to help desk team and this user has a role assigned to it already. That was in the last video. So if I click on that user, I can navigate to that user as well without jumping up here to people, but you can see it went to people for me. So I don't even have to go here. I can click directly to that user and I can look at the roles and I will see what role. So this is the wrong user. So let me go back. Let me go back. And I went to click on this user. So right here, let me click on the roles. I can see there's a help desk role. So I can now go edit. I'm going to remove this role. I'm going to click on save. Right. I'll click delete. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to applications, not applications, excuse me. I'm going to go back to groups and I'm going to go to help desk and under help desk, I still have my users. I'll go to admin roles. I'll go to edit group assignments and then under here, I'm going to click. I'm going to look at lead help desk role and I'm going to also make sure I have my resource set and I'm going to click save changes. And you can see here, this role now is a part of the help desk team. And these individuals here are going to have access because they are a part of this group. So if I were to click and test Octa user and I go to admin roles, you see right here, it shows me group. 
before it was shown individual, right? Admin assignments granted individually, admin assignments granted through group membership. Now I can see that I have the group membership and I'm able to see that role because I, I'm in that group. So if I needed to, I would go about and say, okay, you know what? Let me remove this person from this group because I have the role assigned to the group where I wouldn't have to individually go to each user and then make those changes. So this is more of a proper administration way of doing things. This is how you would want to do it in your production environment versus giving people roles at the individual level, give it at the group, throw everybody in the group. So this way you're like, okay, I already know who has access based on this group versus having to go through each individual user. So that's one of the ways you would do it. Um, if I come to groups and I needed to delete a group, I can just come here to marketing team and I could come up here to actions and I could click delete and I can click delete. And then it says group uh, marketing team has been deleted. If I refresh, uh, let's give you a message. Let me come to devices. Let me come back here. You can see now we only have our help desk role and we also can see it says one application and what it's referring to is this role right here. Well, there's no application that's here, but it's more referring to um, this lead help desk role um, that is showing up over here. So that is pretty much it. This is a uh, short video about groups. Uh, hopefully that you were able to follow along. If there's any questions or concerns that you have, please leave it in the comment section. I'm more than happy to hear from you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I want to thank you for watching uh, here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.